He lives in nine dealer existence in Willow Point Falls, surrounded by his loving father, Angelo, his grandparents, his surrogate uncle, Phil, and his older brother, Gino. But Halloween 1962 will change Willow Point Falls and Frankie forever. As a practical joke on Halloween, Frankie's schoolmates have locked him in the cloakroom at school. Here in the dusk, he is visited by those who wouldn't ordinarily be there. The ghost of a girl about his age and a man searching for something in the heating grate. He seems real, but is she? As the mystery unravels, it is revealed how they are connected. A mystery thrill with a climactic twist ending. God, not twist endings. Lady in White takes place at the moment childhood with fancies as important as reality. I'm really worried about that twist ending stuff. Get tired of twist endings. But I've heard of this. I heard this is a really good film, though. Lady in White. I hope it's not one of those, it's just a dream type of shit. I've heard it, but I've heard of this film. I've heard of this film. This would be very interesting to see. I've heard good things about it, too. Hmm. Never heard of this. Beast Cops, I guess. Winner. Best Film, Best Actor, Best Screenplay, Best Director, Special Collector's Edition. A brutal and brilliant piece of filmmaking. Digitally restored and remastered. One of the most universally acclaimed motion pictures in the history of Hong Kong cinema. Director of Fist of Legends. Dispense with convention to bring one of the most graphic and insightful action thrillers of recent years. Beast Cops is a visceral and hard-hitting exploration of dichotomous existence of two cops charged with upholding the law while balancing on a moral knife edge. Compelling controversial with a breakup performance of startling intensity from leading man Anthony Wan, this raw and enticing action thriller has mesmerized audiences worldwide with its disturbing examination of the subjective and marginal morality which inhabits the uncertain and ambiguous world of law enforcement. The graphic intensity of the final reels underpin the unforgettable and heroin spectacle, which has seldom, if ever, been paralleled in the Western cinema. Hmm. Beast Cops. Okay. Definitely intrigued. Interesting. I have never heard of this movie. <laughs> that makes it more, the more interesting. Oh man, I have not seen this in forever. Salem's Lot. With Salem's Lot, a blood trail. Yeah, this is a. Was this a mini series or was this just a movie? Can't remember. I'm looking at the time. 184 minutes. So yeah, 120 and 60. Yeah, three hours. A writer fascinated with an old hilltop house, a suave antiques dealer. Actually, I've never seen this. I saw the remake. I've never seen this from beginning to end. I was thinking of something. That's right. I've never seen this from beginning to end. Now I can. Yeah, Toby Hooper did it. And for some reason, I've seen the sequel to this, Return to Sam's Law, before this one. This would be very interesting. Ah, I've heard of this. I no, actually, I've seen this once before. Our point. Although this is this does not make sense. Blair Witch means Full Metal Jacket. There's nothing Blair Witch about this movie. I have no idea why. Like, it should have been The Rain or The Grudge with Full Metal Jacket because this movie is nothing like Blair Witch Front Magazine. I don't know what the hell you're talking about, but I have seen this. Yeah, our point, strategically important island, south of Ho Chi Minh City. Uh, 
Every night, radio transmissions received pleading for help from nine Korean soldiers who formed part of a presumed lost scouting unit six months previously. Hardboiled Lieutenant Choi Taein, combat veteran, all around hard cases, given nine soldiers in nine days, performed what appears to be a clear and simple search and rescue mission. But the uncover is more terrifying than any battle. What I remember about this film is this film was a lot like The Grudge or The Rain, only, of course, it's, it takes place overseas. I remember being confused. I remember hating the ending. Because it's kind of like those endings, like The Grudge and stuff. I think everyone dies in this movie. I actually do think everyone dies in this movie, which uh, that was another thing that kind of pissed me off. I'm like, everyone died? But I have to see it again because I don't remember much, but I think that's what this is. I think that's what it is. A supernatural take on Predator. Oh, that's interesting, yeah. But, yeah, I didn't like the fact that everybody died. But... I have to see this movie again. But, our point. So, the recap, we have our point. Salem's Lot. Beast Cops. Lady in White. Angel Town. Which, actually, let me check something. Let me check another thing real quick. Sorry about it. Just want to check something. Okay, yeah, I did review Angel Town. I just want. Okay, I did review Angel Town. Whoops. Okay, Angel Town, which I just remember I reviewed. Hard Case and Fist and Back in Action. Towns of the Eagle and Tough and Deadly. Street Fighter 2, the anime movie. Zombie Flesh Eaters, which I'm thinking it may be zo just zombie over here. I may be wrong about that, but I think that it is. King of the Kip Boxers. And Mutant. And of course, The Wanderers. So that's God, man, 12 movies. <sighs> wow. That's that's not even a gift. That's a humongous, humongous venture. I think he'd be interested in me reviewing these. Oh, I th I'm trying to think. I think I reviewed Angel Town. And it's the only one though. But I'll definitely give these a look and I will definitely review them. I don't know when though, unfortunately. I don't know when. Because it'll be a busy month and stuff. You know, Christmas and all that. Um, I know it'll, say it'll take your time, but I'm going to try to get these reviewed. Although Angel Town, I, I did review it. so. But the other ones, definitely. I don't even know what else to say, man. It's just... It's humbling. It's just really humbling that you were so nice enough to send this. It's... I don't know what else to say. I just... It's just, you know, 12 movies. That's a lot. And from the UK. That's a lot of shipping. And a lot of money on me. And all I do is do... A video with a camera that I didn't even buy this camera. Someone bought this camera for me on here. Lee Robes Marlin, he bought me this webcam. So I'm filming something that someone got me with movies that someone got me. I feel like a beatnik, like I'm lazy or something. But it's just. Seriously, thank you so much, Ben. It's extremely kind of you. It's humbling. The least I can do is get these reviewed for you when I can. 
Hell, someone sent me damn Errol Flynn movies, and I still haven't gotten to review them or look at them. I'm sure that guy's like, what the hell? I sent those Errol Flynn movies. Like, I know, I apologize. I apologize, and then I do other reviews, because there are movies I want to watch then, and then I... It's like, you review like 10 other movies, how do we do reviews? I'm like, I know, I know. You know. I have made time, but... Seriously, thank you so much. So very kind of you. Either way, uh, thanks for watching, folks. Take care. And hopefully December is going well for you so far. Later.